Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 Sphere build video and today I am going to be creating this modern apartment building and I want to talk to you guys a bit about the thought process but first of all I think you might have been able to tell or you may not have even clicked on the video well you have if you're listening to me but you may have been a bit weary clicking on the video because you're like who's that I have changed my channel art so my banner is different and i have changed my channel's profile picture because i am now on x just because i feel like there is a wider sims community on s um i also know i also know there is a sims community on discord but since i used to work at a gaming cafe and my discord is still so very connected to my ex co-workers it's not that i'm necessarily the embarrassed but no one knows i do this no one knows i create these videos so it's like i i don't know if i could handle knowing that um that they're, they're listening to me watching me it's just such a nuanced thing um so i, I don't know how to like separate that this cooker and, and i don't even know if i want to create a whole new one because i've never truly understood how to utilize discord even when it was our primary source of communication when i used to work there so it's just i i, I don't i um i don't know about discord but i am now officially on x slash twitter instagram pinterest patreon if you want to say so but patreon is purely to upload my tray files and obviously youtube oh and tiktok that i'm also there um i don't upload as much as i would like to on tiktok but i am there for my more short form content and on tiktok is where i also showcase videos utilizing normally copyrighted music that i can't necessarily showcase within this type of youtube environment where i'll get struck down so quick um so yeah that's that that that's why there is a new profile change and that is why i look a little bit different and why did i decide to change it instead of maintaining my original profile picture because the other one was how would i say it it was the other one was me trying to adhere and trying to be more like complicit with the youtube realm i was trying to be like all the other sims youtubers sims builders with a cartoonish um profile picture and there is nothing wrong with that but i didn't feel like it was necessarily me because i really love those cinematic shots and a cartoon profile picture it was not cinematic i thrive in cinematics hint the opening of the video and stuff so i was like if i want to thrive on those cinematics and i want to really showcase that i love building but i also love filmic looking things i need to do that in all aspects and really make my entire brand a bit more concise and to make that a little bit more concise that would require me to change up everything so it all adheres to the whole filmic cinematic sims 4 experience um you might be thinking but you you built your built-in aspects of your videos isn't that cinematic and filmic that's just because i got a really bad laptop for playing the sims and I run everything on a CC and an SSD, so that that's why it's not as filmic and cinematic as I would like it to be. But the day I get a gaming computer, it, it is all over for everybody. I will be playing and doing the craziest stuff, downloading the craziest G shades, and having the craziest cinematic intros with the craziest like spins, graphics, everything like that. Because not only would I be able to utilize um. Not only would I be able to utilize like G shade and reshade and stuff like that properly to the full extent I would like it to, but I will also be able to use industry standard video editing software. Cause at the moment I use CapCut desktop because that's the only thing that runs on my laptop. Premiere Pro does not. DaVinci does not. So I use CapCut cause it's free and it's easy. Um, but the day I get that gaming computer, especially if I've got a dual monitor, it's, it's all, it's gonna be all over. As that video is rendered to in on my first monitor, on my second monitor, I'm already gonna be put in the next video because I always love building and I always get inspired as I am watching myself build like I'm doing right now. But I'm always telling myself, I, I am not even telling myself, I'm always forced not to, go adhere to i'm saying it here a lot in this video i'm always forced to not 
go and feel those, <laughs> attend to those urges to build because as soon as I started the Sims as a video is rendering, either the video is not going to render or the Sims start, is not going to start out. It can't, it can't, the CPU cannot do both. So I have to pick and choose. But the day I get that gaming computer, I get a dual monitor, not only will I be doing the craziest stuff with the Sims, but when I tell you my films, I'll be making, a, especially if I get my gaming computer and I get a really good, like, screen accurate capture monitor because there's a lot of times when you do a lot of editing and so stuff especially with DaVinci and it doesn't because it's mainly color grading um, video software it doesn't truly really show the true colors of certain things I'll be using all the video editors I'll be doing DaVinci to literally color grade to a film level film industry standard of my cinematic intros and then I'll be adding that to my Premiere Pro editions and it's just gonna be an entirely different thing and do you know what else I'm gonna use if I get that game in computer OBS I've always I've said it before I've always wanted to use OBS but I can't just because again it does not run on my computer the fact that I'm able to do half the things I am on this computer is amazing so I, when I get that gaming computer I'm also going to be doing that OBS but not only is my gaming and my sims build and stuff going to pop off but so is my my in, in my real life like short films I like to create um, so will and other things but all of this cannot happen until I can chop so fingers crossed let's hope these shop applications go through and instead of having a thank you email i get you have been successful and you have been passed through to the next stage or congratulations we would like to welcome you for an interview please just get me to that stage but anyway beyond that we're not going to have another video talking about me whining about not getting a job it will come it will come trust the process as it is in my description and my bio and everything to just trust the process anyway that is enough of that the reason why i decided to create this modern apartment because happy first of all october um, even though September that, oh, wow, whoa, 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 was already starting to like come into fruition, it's truly October is the full four months. And so is November. October and November are like the full autumn months. So now it's truly cemented within the dead leaves, the suddenly you're really invested in lakes and canals and all of those kind of things. Also, just before I truly get into October and November and fall and why I decided to build this, if you look at my channel banner, because I've talked about it and now you've probably either ignoring me because you're doing something else and you just listen to my voiceover which is you know what it's chill because that's actually a really big compliment because i mean you like it when i talk and that is such a big compliment or it could be um you are like just like doing a lot of things and you decided oh she talks about changing the channel banner let me go and see if she's actually done that or she's just lied for the sake of lied and you've seen that it is a build that you haven't seen in my channel it is a build that's going to come out next week in two parts and it is i'm going to do a roundup at the end of 2024 to showcase what my favorite builds are that i've created this year and best believe that gotham build is going to be there and the build i'm going to upload this saturday is going to be there but this build that i'm uploading next week on tuesday and thursday it is ha huh. guys you can even see, like, the little snippet from it being on my banner. It is by far the best thing I have created as of yet. Well, okay, not the best thing. Um, because it was actually quite quick for me to create. But it is, um, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. And I say this because a lot of the time, the things that I want to create end up diverting into something else. And it's not never truly what it has been in my mind. I think the the only few videos that I've ever had that have come out looking exactly like how I've wanted them to has been... Uh, uh, ooh, what has it been? I think the castle has. Um, What else has? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. I know Gotham has in the castle. Um, not the hospital, because the interior ended up a lot more smaller than I was expecting it to. Um, what else have I created that has actually come out? Oh, 
the whimsical British house. That I had a dream about that house, and then I decided regarding it's not even a trending topic within the Sims community. I have to build this and I have to showcase to you guys that this house was in my dreams. That came out exactly like how it was in my head. Obviously, it's not always going to be direct to real life because the proportions and everything, but it did come out so well, and I really like that. But this build, it looks. I, I, I talk about realistic, like the last video I posted was a realistic, um, average American street. But this time, this is, I'm just going to give you the, the look out for next Tuesday and next Wednesday because there's going to be a part one, part two, because I'm also going to furnish every single house and every single thing here because it is, it's a village. It's a Yorkshire Dale village. And I'm gonna decorate every single one of the houses and each house, there's like three houses and one apartment and each house is like three bedrooms and I'm gonna decorate them. I'm assuming, I'm thinking, I'm not too sure quite yet. If I'm gonna decorate them regarding who I think Harry Potter cursed child if they lived in the village together, like the main group. So for example, Harry Potter cursed child is Harry Potter and Ginny, and then James Lily. It's Lily Fannin. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is about Harry Potter is so bad. I have consumed so much fandom material of it that I get heavily confused what is fanon and what is canon. So maybe I won't do that just because now I'm really thinking to myself. I will need to adhere to a lot of stuff that I'm... Sorry, I thought I had a bird. Um, I will need to hear to a lot of, again, I'm saying it here a lot. I am so sorry. I feel like that is like l my favorite word of today. Um, I will need to remain true to canon because I feel like I'll frustrate a lot of people if I accidentally add fanon because I don't, it's Lily an actual character. Um, and I don't even know what Lily's like. I know Lily, Lily Potter, the mother, but Lily Potter, like the daughter of Harry, I, I don't know. She's a real character. I know there's, James and is there Albus? Is it James Severus Potter or is it Albus Severus Potter? I think it's Albus Sever Severus Potter because I think Albus is friends with Scorpius Malfoy. Again, I don't know if that's Fanon or not. Are they actually friends or is this Fanon or is this something else? You know what? I'm not going to do. It. I really wanted to do the village initially of it being basically the Potters in one of the houses and then I wanted to do the Weasleys in another house and then the Malfoys in another house just because all of their children remain friends so like Rose I don't know about Hugo I don't even know if Hugo's real um <laughs> Scorpius Albus James all of them are like in like a tiny knit friendship group and I wanted to imagine it as like very whimsical cottage where there's wizards and witches and where they like to do a lot of whimsical stuff in this little cottage because it just reminded me as I was creating it a place where um the Harry Potter characters would live and you might be thinking Wait, hold on. That place? Would it not be Grimald? Would it not be any of the other? No. So also, as I am talking about Harry Potter, I was, also would like to order. I don't believe in the author's views, um, regarding sexuality and gender identity. No, I don't. I just purely am talking about a text and every single thing that I consume of Harry Potter now is either things I brought before she talked about any of that kind of stuff or it's stuff that is fanon. Hence why I'm confused in a lot of fanon things with canon because I barely touch canon anymore. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, with the stuff regarding um, the village and with... Oh God, I forgot where I was even going with this now. But I think the video is going to end soon. So let, I'm just going to... I'm just, I'm just going to like, you know close that topic and come back next week on Tuesday for me to reopen that topic but yeah there's gonna be a part one and part two part one is gonna be me doing the exterior because that took a lot to do and then part two is gonna be me doing all the interiors but anyway I'm gonna quickly talk about this build as the build is finishing you saw that in the cinematic intro and here that the wallpaper changed because the black wallpaper was doing good what inspired me to do this is that it just 
Again, this is like one of the builds I've made that I've thought to myself, this is some place that I would live. Like I just imagine like I would live here, not for a long time, but for a second. And the reason why I say this is that in 2023, for my friend's birthday in July, we went to London and we booked an apartment to stay there for two days as we celebrated her birthday. And the apartment's layout was kind of like this, where it was like you enter, the kitchen's that side, the bathroom's got two doors, and... The only difference is that as you go into the room, that's all pink with the game and setup and everything. That was just a bunk bed and it was, and it was the apartment was much smaller. What I've realized as well when I was creating this, I was like, this entire build looks exactly like every single modern building or modern built apartment complex I ever create where it's just windows near the corner and there's a sofa, there's the dream home decorator connective sofa in the corner and there's a mirror and everything. I was just like, oh God, I need to find new styles because I originally made this Oh, inspired by the London apartment, but also Manchester, because I've seen a lot of people talk about living in Manchester. And if you give me a job in Manchester, I'll happily move to Manchester. Yes, please, because I love those apartments. And I was seeing a lot of people talking about moving to Manchester. And I was like, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. I would love to. I would be like so appreciative if I could live here in these beautiful apartments. So it was just kind of like, I don't state that it is a British modern apartment building just because I feel like you can find these apartments anywhere. But I was heavily inspired by British modern apartments. And you're going to see in this tour and you saw in like an intro that I will not stop focusing on that little sign that I put in the fountain in the fountain. So yeah, I, I, I really like how this came out and I feel like this looks really cute in fall. I feel like the fall aesthetic is really nice. And if you see in the corner, there's another build that suits your fancy. That's my London townhouse that I built last year. So not my most recent one. My most recent one I built in Brightchester, but this is my London townhouse that I built in Windenburg last year so if that really intrigues you you can go watch that but if you just generally want to see another modern apartment you can see my most successful one just sort my channel by most popular and you'll see that city apartment complex with like a convenience store if that's something that's interests you but i have so many apartment buildings i'm sure you'll find another one that you might like but i do want you that might look a little bit similar but if you do want to just go for like the whole british aesthetic i have i'm gonna maybe create even a playlist of my entire british inspired builds because there are so much but yeah anyways i really hope you like this video. i know i went off in a tangent about something else um, as I always do, but I thought that was just, I, I don't know, I don't know, I need to save my tangents for the video I'm uploading on Saturday, because that might be an hour long, it's a very heavy video, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, but if you don't want to, that's also okay, I appreciate you staying this long and listen to all of my rambles. also don't forget to leave a comment down below, I read all of your comments, the more the merrier, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be on Thursday, goodbye!
Thank mm-hmm. you.